have a monkey in your pants? Hi right, folks, how's it going? MonksBaz5000 here with another video for you and a squeaky chair. Um, this is a video that's been asked for by a, a few people now and in particularly one of my YouTuber friends, um, Paul Bradley, has wanted to see a video on this since I mentioned it. And he's mentioned it several times since. So here is the video for you and everybody else. And it's a video on my um, Hackintosh laptop. If you're not up to speed, I used to have a huge gaming PC. I decided to get rid of it, concentrate on um, consoles only, and just making sure it's recording. It is recording. I'm professional, I know. So like I was saying, I was concentrating on consoles only. Got sold the PC side of things. There's a lot of money in that PC, so I thought it was a bit of a sensible thing to do. And um, I got myself a Hackintosh laptop. And I was lo looking at laptops anyway, and I thought I'm going to need to get something quite powerful. And um, I don't know why I came across or even thought about a Hackintosh laptop. I think I just stumbled across it. But for those of you who don't know, Hackintosh is basically where you, PC components are basically put together usually on a laptop and you run Apple Macintosh software on it, so it's called a Hackintosh. Now, it's reasonably easy to do with a PC. You can't just get any component that you want, though, and install OS X on it. It doesn't like every component, motherboard, graphics card, RAM, etc. out there. You have to be quite selective with your parts and even more so with a laptop. But... Um, the laptop that I've got, like I say, was a HP ProBook 4540S. And the good thing about the laptop is it's one of the few laptops that you can actually swap out some components on it and upgrade it, which is what's been done. Now, I'll say at this point in the video, it's going to swap between the webcam and my iPhone dodgy hand-holding action. Um, the reason being is I'm obviously recording it on the laptop just now, so I'm not going to lift the laptop up and show you because it's in front of the webcam etc blah 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 so it's an hp 4540s pro book um, and it has been upgraded like i said it's been upgraded excuse me while i look at the screen so it's been upgraded it's now got a 1920 by 1080p screen which originally it's a 13 something by 776 the typical sort of non-hd laptop resolution so it's got a full hd screen on it now um, it's also been upgraded. The process has been swapped out. I think they originally come with an i3. I might be wrong on this, but it's been swapped out to an i7-3630QM, 3.4 gigahertz quad-core processor. So it's pretty decent. Um, 256 gigabyte SSD drive, which is partitioned to run Windows and OS X. I'll get onto that. And eight gigabytes of RAM, and it's got onboard Intel HD 4000 graphics. It has got an ATI or AMD, whatever it's called nowadays, onboard graphics card. As far as I'm aware of it, it has to be disabled for OS X to work. It doesn't like it, basically. It's no big deal. Um, and that's it, basically, your normal, yeah, laptop stuff. So it's, like I say, upgraded to a full HD screen. It's got the i7 processor, and it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM. Um, and the main thing is, you basically get a more powerful mac experience for a lot less money and um, now the 256 gigabyte hard drive is partitioned in two so it's got windows 8 and it's got um the latest version of apple macintosh software which software which i'll show you in a little bit and um, i'll do a record on the screen as well um i have had an what do you call it a mac mini in the past i do really like the Apple Mac sort of environment. It's a few quirky things compared to Windows, especially if you're used to Windows, but um, overall, I really, really like it. Um, I've not found myself using Windows side of it at all so far. Um, I've been able to do everything that I want to do on the Mac side of it, but I'll, I will keep the Windows partition there, just as a safety net. And the good thing that I really like about this laptop is it's got the internal, um, it's got 256 gig solid state drive in it, but it has got a CD drive in it. And the CD drive can be swapped out. Um, I've got a little caddy, and you can fit um, an additional hard drive into it, whether it's an additional solid state drive or mechanical drive. So I'm going to do that. Swap the. I'm going to take the CD drive out, put that hard drive in there, which is a one terabyte drive, which gives me some storage on top of the 256 gigabyte solid state drive, which is quite decent. I do have a NAS, a NAS, a NAS network server thing down there anyway. Um, 
I just got about network storage. Need a drink, I'm brew, blah blah. So well do guys, um I'll show you what will I do, what will I do? Order, order first. I'll show you it booting up quickly. And the two different options, like I say, this is gonna be filmed on my iPhone. Um so I'm sorry for the shaky camera action, but I'll show you um how fast it boots up and whatnot. The only one thing I'll say about a laptop compared to a desktop is you got USB things plugged in everywhere. I've got a webcam, I've got the game capture thing, I've got headphones, I've got mouse, whereas the PC, all the cables just go around the back, so I'm gonna have to get a USB hub or something like that for it. But what I'll do, um, I'll switch over my, uh, my words are failing me, iPhone, um, and I'll, I'll show you booting up in, in the Windows and the um, OS X side of things as well, and then I'll do a screen capture of the Mac side of things and show you what it looks like and show you how it works and what not. So, see you in two seconds. Where's my phone? This is unorganized as fuck. Right guys, so like I was saying, this is the HP ProBook 45 uh, 40S is what it is. The iPhone zooms in a lot. I'm actually having to sit quite a bit back. But um, I'll put a picture up on the screen at some point in this video so you can see what the actual laptop looks like. And it is originally an i3, there you go. So um, I'll press the power button and you'll see in a second what happens is you get a choice of boot options. There you go, if you can see that. On the left there is Windows 8 and that is OS X. And that little thing there is um, a boot recovery thing that appeared when I upgraded, um, updated the OS X. So Windows 8, you see how fast that booted up there. So boot into Windows 8. You'll see how quick this boots up as well. You can't have a computer nowadays without um, a solid state drive, seriously. Just makes things so much better, so much quicker. If your computer's going slow, get a solid state drive. And there you go, Windows 8. Booted up just like that. Super Nintendo. Um, like I say, I've not really used I don't really use Windows for anything, I've got some stuff there where I was messing about. Ignore that, it just says it can connect to my network drive, but what we'll do is, if I can work this, is restart it, and then once it restarts it goes back to that boot menu again, and you can choose OS X or Windows, so if you don't choose anything, it'll just boot into OS X, I think. Yep, so it'll go ping like this. There's a nice little Apple logo, just takes hardly any, any time at all to boot up. There you go, boot it up, put my password in and job is a good one. Simple as that. Get rid of that, that's just something I was doing or something I installed. But there you go guys, it's as quick and as easy as that and it boots up, it's really really good. So what I'll do is I'll switch over to screen capture and I'll let you see OS X in operation. So this is OS X um, on the booted laptop, there you go, that Hackintosh chart is the first part of the video that I made there. Um, and I'll just crop up here, this hopefully is recording as it should be. And you can see there it's running OS X Yosemite, it was running, is it Mavericks when I first got it? And the seller that I bought it from, I have to say, has been absolutely amazing with help, he helped me update it to the latest version and um, it's pretty straightforward there's a little area of the screen down here that's got a slightly dark area on it um, and I've taken the the bezel off the laptop and it's got a little indented bit on the back of the screen and um, I don't know if it's just a manufacturing issue which has got a slightly darker area here but again the seller is sending me out a brand new screen for me to replace it with so can't complain but there you go 2.39 gigahertz Intel Core i7 8 gigabytes um, OS X, Intel, HD graphics, 4000 like I said, but running 10.10.4 at the moment, um, full um, HD resolution, that's OS X partition, that's my Windows 8 partition, 8GB of RAM again, um, could upgrade it easily enough, this laptop is very very good and very very upgradable. But this is OS X, it's um, I like this Apple stuff. Look at this. Ooh, it's lovely. But yeah, it's it's really really quick. It's really good to use. Um, like I say, I do really really like the Apple sort of environment, if you like. But I've got no problems with it at all. Obviously, that's my YouTube channel. Some shameless plug there. There you go. Um, and I've been using Photoshop on it and game capture software. Audacity Handbrake for converting videos. That's Motion and um, Final Cut Pro as well. That's what I've been using for editing the videos. 
Um, but yeah, I think it's great. What, what video is this? Oh, it's the video that I've just edited and uploaded actually. Gremlins 2 Magic Sauce. Um, I'll just play that. I doubt you'll be able to hear the sound from it though. I'm not sure, it might just be recording my voice. But there you go, that's, that's a sneak peek of a upcoming video. But yeah, it's um, it's decent guys. If you've ever been thinking about getting a, a Hackintosh or you've wanted a, sort of a Mac experience, um, basically to get an Apple Mac sort of laptop, if you like, ProBook, whatever it's called, that's as powerful as this, um, it's, it's going to cost you at least twice as much money as what this laptop does, so it's a really, really good um, way to get into this um, Apple Mac experience, if you like. But what I will say as well, you may have to be careful with future updates. If you've got one, check that it's compatible, but there is a really, really good website, which is Tony Mac X 86 here. Um, there you go, update HP laptops to Yosemite. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really good sort of Hackintosh oriented forum stroke website and there's guides etc on there so if there is new releases at OS or OS X I should say it's probably a good idea to check that out to make sure that it's compatible but I am happy with it so far there's just little things in, in this that's I just like for example you can do this look you get your Facebook notifications down the side today it's just it's just I just like it look you can type stuff here Adobe oh I'm just um yeah, I'm really, really liking the Mac experience so far, but it's a very, very quick look, guys, particularly for you, Mr. Paul Bradley, at the Macintosh, Hackintosh experience, if you'd like. And what I will say, um, it handles Final Cut Pro well. I'm not editing 4K videos or anything like that, but I've not really noticed any issues with it, slowdown problems, etc. If you had massive, massive complex video compositions, then maybe you would, because it's not got an onboard graphics card, but yeah, it's um, it's good. I'm enjoying it. But there you go guys, that was a very very quick look at my Hackintosh ProBook 45 40S. I'll shut that up because although you might not be able to hear it, um, I can hear it in my ear. But yeah, I'm happy with it. It's, pre it's, it's pretty good, it's pretty cool. Um, it's a good way to get into the Hackintosh or Apple Macintosh experience. It's, just, it's a much cheaper way. Um, and uh, yeah, no complaints for me so far. But as always for me, thank you much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And I will catch your beautiful faces next time. Do you have a monkey in your pants?